bikini twist is the next one I'm going to show you. Um, this is great for girls and babies with chunky thighs. Most, like it's angel fold works for everybody, but this one um, works for you. Okay, so go ahead and... Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. I was reading the things. So put the baby And then what you're going to do is you're literally going to twist. So the diaper literally twists. So this corner and this corner are technically from the same side of the fabric, and this corner and this corner are technically from the same side of the fabric. Then you're just gonna pull it up. And you know, it's gonna look a little different right here in the front. Once again, work on wrapping around that thigh to get a nice good fit. Wrapping around the thigh to get a nice good fit. Now, say with your real life human baby, they kind of, you know, they got their legs up here, or they're not like, you know, it's not, they're kind of inhibiting your ability to put it on. Try tickling on the thigh, inside the knee, maybe back here. Um, the tickle might cause, you know, will hopefully give um, a sporadic uh, leg movement and it can kind of help you with the pre-folds a little bit, okay? So then just put your snappy on, or if you're using pins or boingos, you can just, you know, put those on. And then put your cover on. Good fit around the thigh, good fit around the thigh. And then, you know, just make sure everything is tucked in like we talked about before, okay? And that gave her a pretty good fit. You know, we wanna make sure that we have everything inside the cover. Okay. So like I said, bikini twist is good for girls because you end up with everything twisted right here in the middle. And also for babies with fat thighs because it it puts a lot of absorbency right there but it goes in narrow okay y'all see that okay um the other one i'm going to talk about is called jelly roll so basically you roll the edges in okay. and you can flare this in front if you like to it's totally up to you your baby on there and pull this up. Um, you notice you've kind of made a channel here, okay? So, um, so it can the jelly roll is nice because it helps contain the poop a little bit. This is really good for breastfed babies. So work right nice around the thighs. Okay, easy peasy. And you know if. You can always roll it in a little bit more if you feel like you need to, you know. Once you put that snappy on, you're not, you don't have to be done. If you need to adjust, you can. But that's made like a nice solid fit around the legs. And you always want to make sure you get that good fit around the leg with your pre-fold to help keep the um, poop in the diaper. So here's a fun fact. So Facebook, when you're doing Facebook Messenger, if, if you're on mobile, it'll let you customize the mobile messaging part. You can change your color and you can also change the emoji. You know, mostly you see a thumbs up, but like you can change the, all sorts of things. There's like flowers and hearts. And one of the things you can change your messaging emoji to is poop. Um, Ellen and I, on our little private conversations, our emoji is poop because we talk about it so much at work. Yeah. That's a fun fact for today. We got some questions. Okay. Um, okay. Let me get to it. Are prefolds less likely to get stinky? Yes. Anytime you use a natural fiber, it's less likely to get stinky. Stink is primarily associated with um, with microfiber or um, a break in your wash routine. Um, I usually tell people if your prefolds are stinky, um, generally two things are going on. One, we don't have enough detergent um, or water. Or two, um, if you're using an HD machine, make sure that you've done your maintenance cycle re um, regularly. Most brands recommend you do it every 30 days or 30 washes. So if you do that, that'll keep your machine smelling fresh. Um, but in general, natural fibers are gonna be less prone to stink. So yes, pre-folds and flats, and especially because they're thin layers or single layers, they don't have waterproof backing. So versus an all-in-one where the moisture can only flow out through the one side, 
with prefolds and flats, um, the air and liquids can go all the way through, which lets them get cleaner easier. Is there another question? Um, can you lay the prefold in the cover and put it on? Oh yeah, you sure can. So this is called the pad fold. So, and like literally, you just lay it in there. I actually like to put the seam on the bottom because I'm just particular. So, but like I said, this is a size small prefold in a newborn cover. We'll make it work, but the newborn will work a little bit better for this. So you just pull it up. And there you go. Suck it in. Now, a variation you can do and um, would be to fan everything out right here. So, um, since this prefold's a little long for this cover, what we could also do is just fan out and fold down. Okay. And this will let us come up over the prefold a little bit easier. Um, for young babies, I definitely recommend using a fastener and wrapping it around. Um, whenever you put the prefold, just lay it in the cover, you kind of risk having a little bit more of the cover exposed since we don't have that good seal with the fabric around the leg. Um, so sometimes you can get poop on your cover. Other thing too is once your baby starts um, getting like really wiggly back and forth, sometimes it can make the insert or the prefold like slide back and forth in the back. So um, get a nice snug fit, just to make sure everything's in place. And by all means, if you feel like you're getting a lot of poop on your covers, try using a snappy. But yeah, this is super, this is super easy to do. And this is how a lot of families diaper. You know, it doesn't have to be complicated. Lay the, lay the diaper in, fasten it on. Okay. So any other prefold questions or should I um, move flat? One more is uh, what fold do you like or recommend for toddlers like the big boy? Um, for a toddler, honestly, I would just do angel wing. It's pretty fast. It's, um, once you get used to it, you can put it on really quick and easy. Um, or just pad fold. Um, toddler poop tends to be a little bit firmer, so getting on the cover isn't as big of an issue. Um, but if you feel like you definitely need to fasten it, just do the angel wing fold. It, like I said, it's easy. Once you get a hold of it, um, you know, a hang of it, like because you're not like, you know, pre-rolling or twisting, like literally put your kid on the prefold, pull it together, pull it up, wrap it around. You know, it's, you can get used to it. Um, and you know, it's, you've got essentially 16 layers of absorbency right up front, you know, and then you've got eight layers all through the back. Um, and you know, you can always just tuck this in more if you need to. Don't put your kid face down on the table, cause that could be bad. But I mean, this, this, the angel wing fold, I think it's the most common and it's the easiest to use for most kids. 